بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم We begin with Allah's blessed name We praise him and we glorify him as he ought to be praised and glorified and we thank him we thank him this day for all that he has done for us to have brought you safely to Trinidad and we pray to him for protection that this retreat might continue to its conclusion successfully we pray that there might be benefit for all of you from this retreat and that your faith might increase insha'Allah and we pray for peace and for blessings on all his noble messengers on our father Adam on our father Abraham and Moses on Jesus and on his mother the Blessed Virgin Mary and on the last of them all the Blessed Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Ta'ala Alaihi Wasallam and we pray for mercy and for blessings on the soul of our dear teacher our dear teacher Maulana Dr. Muhammad Maulana Dr. Muhammad Fadlur Rahman Ansari Rahimahullah May Allah have mercy on his soul forgive him his sins and build for him a house in Jannah Ameen Before we begin our first session on signs of the last day and the reality of the modern world permit me to take a brief moment to enter into the record there are many amongst our men folk our brothers who worked very hard to organize this retreat but I'm not going to mention their names it is our sisters who worked equally hard there are parts of the world today the Muslim world where women are not allowed in the masjid where women are excluded put away put behind a wall but in this retreat they worked very hard I want to mention the name of Hafsa Hafsa who's been writing to you all all the time she's not here she's at work oh she's here oh she's there I want to mention the name of Zoraida who did all of this Muslim sister and this is recorded for posterity I want to mention the name of Salima you should find them these women who worked so hard who slept I think two hours last night of Dr. Mumida Shah who is somewhere around of Mehrul Rahman who's worked hardest of all but if this retreat is taking place today it's because Karima Karima Rashid is responsible for it I have been getting requests from many parts of the world 
from those who wanted to come to Trinidad to study with me. I said, I, I'm sorry, we don't have the arrangement, but Karima didn't ask permission to come. She came and she brought with her a group from San Francisco. This was last March and they spent a week. It was a wonderful week and it was as a result of that one week that this was born. So meet Karima when you have the time and thank her for because of her we have this retreat and start putting aside your money and putting aside your time because we want to meet again next year. It's going to be a much bigger retreat than this one. And if you're from Cape Town, your heart will be beating faster now because we want to meet in Cape Town. Excuse me, beautiful Cape Town. One year from now, maybe just after Eid al-Adha next year. That's going to be much bigger, inshallah, another retreat. This one is small and this one is deliberately small for reasons you will learn in time. And so may Allah bless them, our sisters, those whose names have, I have not mentioned, who have worked so hard. They say we, we discriminate against our women. Today, we put our women first. But there's one more whose name has been mentioned. Before she came into my life, I had written only one book on Islam and Buddhism. And after she came into my life, all these books are coming out. My beloved wife Aisha. I've said to her, I won't change you for a thousand <laughs> red camels. So when you meet her, you could probably tell her there are very few red camels in the world now. May Allah bless her. My wife Aisha. It was the last stage of the life of the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam. He had performed a pilgrimage and at the end of the pilgrimage he gave the sermon and he asked the people have I delivered the message do you bear witness and then revelation came down announcing this day the job is complete this day I have perfected for you your religion I've completed my favor unto you and I've do ordained for you Islam Islam meaning submission not to the state submission to he who created you from a drop of sperm that's Islam and so we thought that's the end and then the Prophet, Allah's blessings be upon him, returned to Medina. And then there was one more revelation. And tomorrow and on Monday, we're going to spend some time on that, which explains why is it that wealth no, no longer circulates through the world? Why is it that the rich are now permanently rich and the rich